نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احلل عقدتم من لسانی یفقه قولی و جعل لی وزیر من احلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ سورة الاسر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والعصر واو زبر وا This is a prefixed preposition and it is generally used in Arabic in two meanings number one as and and the second for swearing or taking an oath. So here at the start of the verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing with the name of Al-Asr. And Al-Asr uh, will have the meaning of, either it will have the meaning of Surah Al-Asr, or Al-Asr means the time period or some ages the past ages, the period of which has passed. So Allah swears by the time and says, Inna al-insana, inna indeed, al-insana, all of the mankind, la fi, lam zabar la means what? Sure, fi in, is in, Husrin, Husin Ra means a loss. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Ula ika humul khasirun. Ula ika humul ahsarin. These are the people who have, who are those who are going to face the worst form of loss on the day of judgment. So Husin Ra means what? The loss. So these people, all the mankind is in what? Is in loss. Illa, except, other than, who? Alladheena, those who, who do what? Aminu. Aminu is from Hamza Mim Noon. And Amana means what? To believe or to have faith. Aminu is a verb. And it is, it is showing an action of belief. But how many people is it mentioning? Is it a singular? No. Is it two? No. It is because a wow and alif on the end, it signifies what? That the belief is by a plural more than two people. And they believe and they do what? Wa armilu. Wow here means what? And they do what? Ain mim lam. Armala is to do something, to act. To make a deed. Now again, this doing is not by a single person, not by two, or it is by more than two, that is with a plural, because there is wow and alif on the end of amilu. And they do. They do what? Aswalehati. Righteous deeds. They do righteous deeds. Swad, lam, ha means something which is correct, which is right. And then they do what? Wat, tawa, so. Wa means and, tawa, so. The root word is wow, swad, ya. And it means what? It means to advise, to suggest, or to enjoin. And this activity of advising or enjoining is also being done by a plural because there is wow and alif. And this ta which is coming bit before tawasa, the ta which is coming, it signifies that the action which is going on is between, it is common, it is mutual between two parties or between two people. So, Tawasa means what? That they mutually advise each other and they give suggestions to each other and or they enjoin each other. What? 
bilhaqi. Bazir bi means with. With what? Haq. That is, what is the truth? Watawa so. And they enjoin each other and they mutually advise and suggest to each other what? Biswabri. With what? In what? To be patient. Swabara means what? Patience. Allahumma ja'alni saburan wa ja'alni shakura. Now let's repeat the whole words all over again. Starting from the first verse. Wal asr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by the time or by the salatul asr. Inna indeed al insana all mankind lafi surely are in husrin laos illa except other than Allah zina those who amanu those who believe wa amilu salihati and the do righteous deeds watawaso and they enjoin or advise each other bil haqqi to the truth watawaso and they advise and enjoin each other mutually bisabr to the patience sadaqallahul azim ربنا لا تزع قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب